Hello everyone. Today we are going to make a material for magic surface. We can see in the level that this is similar to a nebula, and we can also replace the texture and color in the material to create multiple effects. Here is a basic sphere as an example. Of course we can apply it to other meshes, such as planes and other meshes, but we need to adjust the text scored in the material to match the UV of the mesh. Okay, now let's create this material. Here we use the basic material settings, so we can set the material's metallic, roughness, etc. as needed. There are two main parts in the material, emissive color and world position offset. The first is the part of the world position offset, its mainly uses rotate about axis. The latter two parameters are mostly object position and world position. As for the random axis, we use time and dynamic material parameter, because this material will be used in Niagara, set the random values of speed and offset, and use sine and constant bias scale clamp the output value of time to cycle between 0 and 1, of course, we also modify the period of sine here to make it look slower, then use two random vectors as axis, the values of these axes can be set freely, use lerp to blend these two random axes, then blend another axis. The period of sine here is different, so a more dynamic effect can be created, then we have a random angle, which is very simple, just multiply sine by a float to get the loop output value. For example, here it is multiplied by 0.1, which is a rotation of 36 degrees, so this is the complete rotate about axis, then we also add position offset of the material. The random axis multiplied by the vector will make the material have a whole offset on the x, y, and z axis, we can preview it. If only this part is connected, the sphere will only have a position offset and no rotation. Let's adjust this value to see it more clearly. This is the position offset. And this part controls the rotation of sphere. Yes, rotate about axis. Okay, now let's take a look at emissive color. We have a surface that simulates the effect of a nebula. The first thing we create is the effect of star points. Let's preview it. What we use here is a very simple texture. Just these points, use material function texture bombing on it. That is, we don't let it be tiled repeatedly, because repeated tiling looks very bad. We break it up so that it looks more random. We can also use this material function when making land materials. Then control its UV. Here we use screen position, which has a similar function to TextCord tiling. But one difference is that TextCord allows the texture to move in the direction of the UV, while the screen position allows the texture to move directly with the screen as the UV. If we connect to TextCord, we will find that the movement of these stars is based on the UV of the sphere, while the screen position is the movement of a straight line. We can use any of them here. Then use time gets a random UV offset. We set tiling here to 0.2, don't need too much tiling. If you like, change it to 0.1 to make it look less, or 0.3 to make it look more. Then there is panner, the speed at which the texture moves. In this way, we have created the effect of stars. Next, let's take a look at the smoke effect on its surface. We use the base color multiplied by the particle color and multiplied by the noise mask, oh, yes, we have to take a look at the noise mask. Here we use the smoke texture provided by the engine. Its panner can be made in another way, which is the four-way chaos we see now. This material function can multiple blend this texture and set the speed in all directions, so that the movement of the texture will look more random. Of course, we can also use panner directly, Use any method here according to our needs. Then multiply it by the noise mask to get random smoke speed. Also multiply it by Fresnel, a basic Fresnel effect, which will be clearer in sphere mode. Here adjust its exponent to 1, base reflect fraction is 0, so that the sphere has Fresnel around it, and the center part is not needed. OK, add the star effect to get the nebula on the surface. 
Then let's take a look at the surface texture that can be changed. Here we get the noise mask, multiply it by any texture. We use grid texture as an example and weaken its intensity. If we need a clearer texture, we can also multiply it by a higher value, such as 0.5, and clamp the output value to 0 to 1, add Fresnel to make the edge of the object have some Fresnel effect, the center part is still not needed. OK, we add them together and multiply them by the particle color, so that we get the LDR input in Deriver HDR from LDR. Then HDR tint. We still use Fresnel and Lerp to make the difference between the edge and the center, so that the closer to the center, the brighter. And the color of the edge will be darker. Okay, this is the emissive color. We can also change the color of the surface texture, such as multiplying it by red, so that the edges of the sphere and these lines will turn red. or pink, which will make the colors unified. OK, so we have created the effect of magic surface. We can also replace any surface texture. Like this texture. Even add some distort effects. Yes, it looks cooler. OK. OK, so that's all for this video. I hope you like it. Bye.